Watch you guys got another video on how to check your internet speed using your command prompt. We can use a little tool that's built by Speedtest, which will basically measure our internet connection performance metrics, uh, like your download, your upload, latency, and packet loss natively without relying on your web browser. We can use our command prompt for this. I'll show you how to get it set up so you can quickly check whether you're having issues with your internet connection. You can see here on their website, this is where you'd normally run your speed test. But if you check out on the apps section up the top here and go to CLI, you can click this and this will allow you to download the speed test CLI. Basically what this is gonna do is allow us to run our speed test through our command prompt. This can be quite useful and you can just do it without having a web browser open. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I'll show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. So first off, what we're going to do here is we're going to go down a section here where it says install options. You can download the speed test CLI for Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and free BSD. So let's go ahead and choose our option, which is going to be Windows. This will download a little small file, which is going to be a zip file. We need to unpack this zip file. As you can see here, this is the zip file. I'm going to copy both of these files into their own folder and we've got the files unzipped and we can use these files then. So as you can see here, these are the two files. I'm just going to drag them into this little folder here and we can then discard the zip file. So here we have both of our files. We're going to copy these and we're going to be putting these into our system 32 folder. So go up to the top here, click copy and go to this PC, then our C drive and then go down to windows and then into our system 32 directory. Click on this one, and this will open up the system 32. Find a little blank spot down the side here and right click and paste. This will paste these two files in here. So put the check mark in, do this for all current items and then click continue and it will copy both the files inside our system 32 directory right here. So here we have our two files and all we need to do now is go to our command prompt, type CMD in our search box to open up the command prompt. We need to run this as administrator, so click on the run as administrator, and here we have our command prompt box. Type in here speedtest.exe and push enter, and basically this will run a speed test using the speed test by a cola. You can see it's going to give us our server location, which for me will be in London. Yours will be wherever you live. ISP will be my ISP latency. It will also give us our download speed and our upload speed. And we can also get our packet loss. Now, if you're having any sort of intermittent issues, you can use this information to send it to your ISP and get them to check them out. Now, packet loss is a pretty bad thing. It can cause a loss of internet and dropouts and all sorts of other issues. So when you're gaming, if you lose connection and then you come back, that's packet loss. It's not very nice. If you want to check your results online, you can copy that URL and go back to your browser and paste them in here. And it will give you your information up on the screen, as you can see here. It gives you the date, time, and all that information, which you can send on to your ISP if you wish. So it just gives you the same information as you got uh, on your command prompt window. So let's move on to the next way of doing things, which is via the run box. You can run this also by the run box. So let's go down to the start button here, close these boxes off here, right click on the start button, and you should see an item called run. So let's right click here and go run. And from here, you just need to type in here speed test and it will also run it from here without going to your command prompt. So it's quite useful. So click OK or click Enter, and it will open up a command prompt box and start running, as you can see. Very simple. Uh, you're not running as administrator here. If you've run this for the very first time, you will get the license agreement, which you have to accept by typing yes, and basically that will then allow you to run it from there as well. So just type yes here. Not sure if this is case sensitive. Let's try push enter with lowercase. If it needs to be case sensitive, you'll have to do capital letters. So let me just quickly do this by typing yes in capitals. Let's see if that makes a difference. So push enter. And you should then have your uh, test results coming up here. So let that run. And basically that will give you your speed test. 
very quick and easy to do without having to install any software or anything like that. You just basically drop those in there. You can forget all about it and run your speed test whenever you feel like it or whenever you feel that you're having intermittent internet connection problems. If you want to remove them, all you need to do is go back to your C drive here, go back to Windows directory, and then go back to your System32 directory. And once we find that System32, there we go. And then do a search for your speed test files. There's two of them in there that we dropped. And you can just highlight them and delete them. So there you go. Just right click here and delete. You can put just a speedtest.exe in there. That won't show you your packet loss if that's what you want to do. But you could just basically delete that just like so. Very simple. Anyway, that's basically about it. That's how you can check your internet connection uh, speed using your command prompt with the nice little tool from speedtest.net. I'll leave the link in the video description for you so you can check those out. Give it a go. Very useful little way of checking it out and see if you've got any problems with your computer's uh, internet connection. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. They are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now. Thank you.